What's up, everybody? What's going on? What's happening? What's up? DW in the house. <laughs> What's going on? Man, oh, man. Not <laughs> shit. What's up, bro? Yo, I'm not going to lie, my man. You got some crazy videos. Uh, no S talking. Your videos are out there, my brother. <laughs> You're definitely on the crazy side. Some videos I like and some are questionable, but it's entertainment, man. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Yes, I do remember Julian Roberts, I think. Think. Yeah, was that your old channel? Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, wow, man. My girlfriend was perusing the internet last night. And uh, she came across a post. Uh, oh, my gosh. That's crazy, bro. Crazy. Uh, so my girlfriend, let's see here, was perusing the Internet last night. I'm not sure. I think she was on Facebook, on a Facebook group, and she found somebody in the area that was, uh, uh, I guess, essentially selling a, Typhoon H for three fifty, and um, man, I, I, uh, <laughs> he said he would trade for uh, other products, uh, other DJI's, other you know stuff like that. So I figured I bought that. I bought that uh, that Phantom Three Standard off Ron for forty dollars a while ago, and I barely fly the thing. So I told the guy I would trade him the Phantom Three for the Typhoon H. And he accepted. So we're going to go pick that up today. Um, I do know that it is it is not a uh, it does not have a working camera. The camera is going to need to be replaced. So it, it takes the CGO three plus camera. And I was going to give people a challenge if they wanted to help me out uh, finding the cheapest CGO three. I don't care if it's used or refurbished the cheapest CGO three plus camera that you can find and email me the link, man, so that we can try to get this thing fully operational for as cheap as possible. Because apparently it comes with three batteries, the transmitter, the bird itself, a three, uh, I, I think the camera comes with it, but it's, it's broken. The main board, I guess, burned out somehow. But uh, I was wondering if anybody would be willing to help me track down the cheapest CGO three plus camera that we can find that works refurbished or used so that we can get a camera for the thing. This has been my dream bird for the longest. This is really weird that we did Solo Fest, and at Solo Fest, Greg had his out there. And um, Greg showed me, and, and the, more I, the more I saw this bird functioning, the more I just wanted it. It is a bird I've been wanting for like over a year. It is such a professional platform on so many levels. It's very ridiculous. If I actually get this thing working 100%, I will push myself to complete my 107 and actually start doing drone footage professionally and, and going that whole entire route. I've just wanted a bird capable of doing it. I would compare the Typhoon H to something like the DJI Inspire, maybe the first one, not the second one, but definitely the first one. The, the components and the parts are as good as Phantom 4, um, if not better on some, some ends, because a hexacopter has the ability for one motor to fail and it will continue flying. So it just sounded like such an amazing bird. The legs retract up into the body. It's got a 360 degree camera, which is really kind of unheard. Val's Val with a with a dollar ninety nine super chat. Thank you very much, Miss Val. That is awesome of you. Uh, and yes, it was a good deal. Fred Jackson, what's happening, my brother? So yes, I, I believe I have picked up a Typhoon H for what I paid for the Phantom 3, which was $40. So technically, I just got a, a Typhoon H for $40. It just needs a camera. So if you guys can help me find the cheapest CGO 3 Plus used or refurbished camera, I would be very grateful. I have want to get this thing in the air. I want to get it functioning properly. I want to get it working correctly. So yeah. address in the in the description of this video as well as in the comment section so 
I mean, any help would be awesome, guys. The more, the more people involved, the faster I'll get a good, you know, a, a cheap camera for this thing and actually get it working how it's supposed to. So that would be very cool if anybody wanted to offer a little assistance. I try to get you guys involved in the channel, you know. So uh, where did I find it? Actually, I think she was on a, a Oldsmar something a Facebook group for buy, swap, and sell. And the guy either wanted to sell it for 350 or swap it for another item. And I, I happened to have the Phantom 3 that was just sitting on the shelf that I barely fly that I picked up for the $40. And I told him I would give it to him. He, I would trade him straight up. And he, he said, that's fine. So this is a very professional bird that I'll be trading the Phantom 3 for. But he says he likes DJI products more than anything. And he also has a bunch of 3DR solos. So he does know my channel. He knows who I am. I thought that was very cool. Um, yeah, guys, if you're not involved in your Facebook groups for buying, selling, swapping, all that kind of stuff, make sure that you're getting yourself involved in these groups because you can find some amazing deals on like Let It Go, uh, Offer Up. Craigslist is kind of a dying thing. Craigslist, I don't think, is going to be around much longer. They're just not succeeding like they used to. There's too many people taking advantage of people. It's really kind of sad. But if you like join your Facebook sales groups and stuff, your marketplace, you would be very surprised the uh, deals you can actually get on there. And most of them are local. You can just meet up with these people just like Craigslist. Um, it actually categorizes the people around your area. Oh, Fred, man, you may want to consider getting on uh, Facebook, brother, because you can find, like I said, some incredible deals on, on some of these places. Uh, so, yeah, definitely. Damn, we got 15 people in here. And we've only got three people commenting right now. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to me, man. I see how it is. But uh, yeah, no. So uh, totally, it's uh, it's 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 a bird that I have definitely wanted for a very long time. It is a very professional bird, and uh, yeah, I I can't believe I I came across one for such a good deal. So uh, if you guys know, I'm a very cost effective channel. Um, I I do my best to try to find deals. I never buy new. Um, I'm a used and refurbished kind of guy just because of the funds that I make at my job. I, you know, 10 bucks an hour. So I'm by no means a rich person. Everything I have was either given to me or I found it on a deal. So um, that's, that's the type of shopper I am. I'm a cost effective shopper. Uh, I do my best. So it's not that I don't want to talk. It's hard to type while shoving Taco Bell in your face. <laughs> I feel you, man. Yeah, I did start this stream at like lunchtime, didn't I? That makes sense. A lot of people are on lunch. I, I did try to center it around that. Let's see. Oh, my girlfriend just texted me. Let's see if she's, uh, he's so gonna see. In... What? Ah. <laughs> oh, she's trying to psych me out right now. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, he's so going to see the Phantom 3 and not want to make the trade. I'm like, well, it looks brand new. It's, it's, it does. It looks really clean. So, Cool piece of candy. Mr. Goss, what's happening, my brother? What's going on? What is up? I'll tell you what. YouTube is really starting to irritate me by not pushing the, uh, the notifications like they used to, man. YouTube is really cutting back on sending notifications to people. It's really depressing. It is definitely depressing. That's for me. 20 hours ago. Slick deals, but now expired. Refurbished unique Typhoon H Hexacopter. Holy cow. Wow. Rick Halliburton with a $25 super chat. Man, you came out of the woodwork with that one. Rick, you are amazing. Thank you, sir. That is awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, I will definitely put that towards the, the, the uh, camera, purchasing the camera. That is, that is, thank you. That is uh, amazing. Um, Unique Typhoon H Hexacopter drone with CGO3 400. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's got to be the CGO3 Plus to make it worth it. But yeah, that is a very good deal if it was uh, definitely it. But I think this one comes with Real Sense. Real Sense is amazing. So yeah, if you guys have not uh, lubed up to Rick Halliber, he's a very good guy. Anytime I need anything or, um, you know, I, I do something where I'm like, hey, you know, I'm kind of short on funds does anybody want to you know partake in this project so that we can you know make something for the greater good of everybody rick normally steps up to the plate he is a very very awesome individual so please make sure if you guys have not lubed up to rick's channel you guys do that very cool guy <laughs> have a great day back to work sounds good fred thanks for stopping in brother 
So yeah, so I am going to continue for those of you that have been following the 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 uh, 3DR solo. Um, nice, nice. Uh, for those of you that have been following my posts with the 3DR solo, I, everybody was complaining about not being able to have a gimbal that was affordable for everybody. And so what we've done here is uh, a group of guys, myself included, uh, we figured out a way to hook third-party gimbals up to the and uh, one parameter change that needs to be adjusted in the tower app and now you can run third-party gimbals on the solo so there's no need to buy that proprietary gimbal for five hundred dollars now you can purchase a stupid cheap gimbal and attach it and it also allows you to run um <clears throat> newer cameras now so now you can hook a gopro hero 5 or gopro hero 6 uh up to the to the solo and go that way however you will not have control of the camera like manual controls you won't have the ability to change settings on the camera while you go you will have pitch control though so uh that's that's you know if you want to take photos you'll have to put the solo in burst frame every 10 seconds it'll take a burst frame shot so other than that it's really for video if you do third party but like i said you'll be able to run with newer cameras man we we tried to make that available to everybody and net Ninth degree aerial perspective. Ninth, ninth. Oh, that's interesting how you say that. Ninth degree area. I like that. Uh, Thomas, I would like a solo. Was looking on eBay. Don't know which ones are good and which ones are, which ones to run away from. Well, that's that's simple. I will simplify that for you. Um, so basically, Roger, what's up? Uh, basically, anything refurbished is going to be your best bet, and the reason why is because. When the Solo first came out, it had a lot of problems. So if somebody has one new in the box, it's probably best to avoid the new one. Refurbished means it's been gone over, all the problems have been corrected, and it's ready for a new owner. I would definitely say refurbished is the way to go. I would say eBay, there's a guy on there that's been selling refurbs now for like three years at least, and he does a very good job uh, going through them. So, All right, PA Flyer 13 didn't get to watch it yet, but thank you so much for taking your time and making the video for the gimbal for all the solo owners. Yeah, man, that's that was a group of guys came together to to put that out for everybody. Dude, trust me, I'm I'm a smart guy, but that took a lot more involvement than just me to get that figured out. So, um, especially jumping into the flight parameters, that was very touch and go, man. We were so afraid to start changing things to see what would happen, but uh, definitely worked out. So. We did figure it out. Most of your cheap gimbals now will work on the solo. So that just makes the solo so much more uh, appeasing to people, you know. Uh, hello, MBS Travel and Photography. What's going on, my brother? Dope. Looking channel, ninth degree. Yeah. So let's see here. Can you put me his name or link? Who are you, who are you looking for? Oh, uh, yeah. It's really simple. I'll tell you what picture to look for. The picture on eBay is a ton of solos and boxes stacked on top of each other. So when you look up uh, refurbished solo on eBay, he's the one that has all the boxes stacked on top of each other. Very good dude. Uh, does very good business with people. So uh, and if you you know say, well, I don't know if I'm willing to pay that much, he'll even work with you on the price. He's really cool, man. He'll cut like thirty bucks off it or something just to just to get you one. Very good guy um sub 201 brother nice i got a refurb solo for 200 back in november still working awesome yeah dude i paid 167 for my solo almost a year and a half ago now and it is still functioning phenomenally i actually just put polar pro lights on it that were sent to me by somebody for testing so i've got those on there now i'll have to do that video so let's see here november yep okay mr goss hi What's up, buddy? Hi, how are you? All right, so for the people that just popped in, I know people are kind of jumping in and out. If you haven't hit that like button, please make sure to smash it. It definitely definitely helps my algorithm. Um, so for the people that just jumped on, uh, I picked up a Typhoon H, I think, for $40. And the way that worked out was I saw a post on, on – my girlfriend saw a post on Facebook, showed it to me. The guy wanted to either trade or sell it for $350. I offered him my – my phantom three standard that i bought off ron for forty dollars and he accepted so i'm trading a phantom three standard that i paid forty dollars for 
for a Typhoon H. Now, the Typhoon H does need a camera. It needs a CGO 3 Plus camera, but everything else is there for the Typhoon H. So, as I was stating before, if anybody can help me find this camera for super cheap, I will put my email address in the comment section below when this video is done processing. And please, if you find cheap CGO 3 Plus links, please send me those links. Um, I'm going to review. I'm going to do searching myself, but I mean, the more involvement, the better. You guys will help me get this bird in the air and make it 100% fully functional. So, hey, Baduga. Baduga's RC. What's up, my brother? At Roger. Falling in altitude, 45 degree north. Probably the reason for the colder temperatures around 12 degree north here. Whew. Got to run. Rick, thanks for stopping in, brother. You're awesome as always. Let's see here. Nice deal, DW. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a good deal. So, um, yeah, Zap. What's up, Zap? What's going on, bro? Perth. Perth is up. I traded a $40 Phantom 3 standard for a Typhoon H. It just worked out. It was a crazy deal, man. Um, it needs a camera, but <laughs> it's totally... For a twelve hundred dollar bird to trade a you know a bird that you paid you know whatever forty forty dollars for us three months ago, I thought that was a heck of a deal. So I want a forty dollar <laughs> Oh man, dude, just I, I, look, man. Like I said, everything I own is either a deal or a trade or something else I got. I mean, or it was given to me. So I, I rarely buy things new. I wait until I find just a perfect deal and then I get it, man. I, I hate I hate buying things for extra money. You know, the type the, the Phantom 3 is good, but it's nowhere near as good as something like the Typhoon H. So that was a no-brainer. I went ahead and said, yep, that's gone. I'll trade my DJI Phantom 3 any day for a Typhoon H. So the Phantom <laughs> deal is great. Yeah, I just got to get a camera for it, so. Couldn't let that one go away. Don't blame you. Good score. Yeah, man. I just like I said, I just need a camera. So that's what we're working towards right now. Yeah. David, Perth West. How, how have you been holding up, brother? I got to get over to your channel and start watching some stuff again. I'm just getting killed by not having uh, notifications like I used to, man. I don't even think half of you guys are getting my notifications. You're getting them late. Brian G, what's going on, brother? What's up? Excellent. That's good to hear, man. That is good to hear. If you guys are just popping in, please push that like button, man. It helps. It helps. I am uh I got a couple. Let's see. I got about 5 hours before work. Oh no, I got four and a half hours before work starts. So, at some point here, I'm going to take the somebody sent me the Hubson H107D uh to thank me for <laughs> for figuring out the solo gimbal problem. So, I'm going to take that outside. I just modified it. I'm going to take that outside for a rip here pretty soon. Sean, what's up? What's going on, brother? A uh, bit of RC boating with the FT-12. Yeah, yeah, I got to get my FT-12 back out. It is summertime. It is time to get the FT-12 back out, charge up the batteries, lubricate the shaft, and go from there. Captain Cook in the hizzy. Yes, sir. Hey, Drone Network is starting tonight, guys. By the way, Captain Cook just popped in. He is uh, He runs the Drone Network. For those of you that are not aware, uh, they do a really fun show that normally lasts uh, quite a number of hours, <laughs> but it's always good information. So uh, check out Captain Cook's channel. If you guys have not subbed up to Captain Cook, please make sure you do that because, yeah, the drone network is on tonight. And I believe that starts at 7 p.m., I want to say, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, something like that, Eastern, I don't know, 7 p.m. <laughs> so out for a short eat back nice live stream smash the like button later thanks mbs travels photography that's awesome brother remember to be uh lubing up to one another in here guys if you haven't already i'm seeing a lot of familiar faces so most of you guys should be uh, connected with one another already but we're a drone community this is what we do we try to help each other out and give out good knowledge so that's what we're doing let's see roger mr goss Baduga, david yeah so anyways, I am hoping that this this Typhoon H works flawlessly and just needs a camera. That's the hope. Hopefully we're not getting I mean not not that it would be a bad deal. Honestly, even if I had to spend 200 bucks to completely repair it for some reason, uh that would still be worth it to me. So, you know, I think I think the one with real sense is still 9.99 almost as much as the Mavic Pro still and 
uh, I've seen it all the way up to like twelve hundred, something like that, twelve hundred bucks. So it's 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 a professional bird. It's designed to take uh, professional photography. The captain owns one. Captain Cook owns one of these. And uh, I just called him. I got off the phone with him, and I was like, "What do you think of it?" And he says he loves it. So it's, uh, but he babies it. He takes it easy on it, which is understandable. I wouldn't want to replace parts either. It's extremely expensive to break apart on the Typhoon H. So, yeah, I think, uh, Captain, are you hand catching yours yet? I think everybody is suggesting that you hand catch them. Even even uh, Greg said that he hand catches his. Are you are you hand catching? You should probably be doing that if you're not. Jamie Hill, what's up? Hey, how's it going? What was the danger zone we should watch for as far as the battery goes? Oh, dude, you got to be more specific. Battery on what drone? Talk to me. <laughs> Captain said not yet. Yeah, watching Greg hand catch it was a little crazy, but uh, it, it definitely helps if you have the lanyard connected around your neck. So, Jamie, he'll be a little more specific so that I understand uh, which bird you're talking about. Uh, I have babied my Mavic Pro for over a year now. 100% perfect performance. Excellent, excellent. Mavic Pro is a good bird. Oh, the Solo. Uh, so, are we talking about DIY battery or are we talking about stock batteries? I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for his response here. <clears throat> Stock. Okay. Uh, yeah, Allah. Life Allah. What's up, brother? Um, so the stock batteries are failing. They are all from 2015 for the 3DR Solo. Uh, most of them are starting to break down into a gaseous form and they're starting to expand. Sometimes you get lucky when you purchase a older battery and they work for a little while, but the shelf life of the battery was three years old. It is now coming up on three and a half years old and they are starting to fail. Um, a lot of people are purchasing five, six batteries at a time and they're only getting five to seven minute flight times. So it's quite obvious that the batteries are failing. Um, and that's the reason that I did the DIY battery mod for the solo to show people how to run on new packs you won't get the uh, cosmetically, a, a, you know, appealing look by running third-party pack. But at the same time, you'll be running on brand new, fresh cells. The Solo will love it a lot more. Your flight times will increase. And, uh, man, it's just a totally different punch out. When I run the DIY pack versus the old batteries at a 35C discharge rate, I can tell you right now, it loves it, man. It loves running on those 5235C 14.8 uh, batteries from Gen Z's Tattoo. So it is, it is definitely a must-do if you have a Solo. It is time to get off those old packs. It is time to build your own battery. Uh, I did a complete video breakdown of how to build your own battery for the Solo. So if you have not checked that out yet, you may want to get on that, Mr. Jamie Hill. Look up DIY Battery Mod Part 1, and you will find everything you need to build your own Solo battery and run on fresh packs. This is what we do, man. This is what we do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I absolutely love this hobby. This hobby saved my life, man. It did. I was on a path of destruction before I found this hobby. I realized I could spend my money on more than just alcohol and craziness. So, yeah, this uh, this hobby definitely saved my life. Hey, we just lost, like, a bunch of people. <laughs> people are just dropping out of the stream left and right. Does anybody have any questions? I'm more than willing to answer questions. Let's see what else you guys got. If not, man, I'll be closing the stream down here. Feed is cutting out here. Oh, no, Roger. That's not good. No, it's all right. It might just be uh, internet. I don't know. It says I got full bars. That could just be the YouTube platform doing that. Excellent. Got me back. Uh-oh. That That's... <laughs> <laughs> That's why people were dropping out real quick. Okay. Yeah, man. Sorry about that. Nothing I can do. That's uh, definitely internet. Oh, six. Six. We're down to six. Can you guys still see and hear me? Back up to eight. Six to eight. <laughs> you guys hear me at all and see me? Can you see me? Maybe I need to restart the stream, huh? 
Yep. Okay. We got one. Yes. Now it's good. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know what happened. Yeah, that uh, that's just Florida internet, I guess. I'm running on 5G. It says I got full bars. That's that must be on YouTube's end. I don't think that was on my end. I didn't see any hiccup in the internet, so that must just have been something that happened to YouTube. Anyways, sorry about that. Jamie, did you get all the information I just gave you about the DIY battery? Mr. Winky Head. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> just supported your channel. Excellent, excellent. You did not get all that information. Okay, I'll do it one more time here now that you've got me back. Um, so, Jamie, I, I created a DIY battery pack uh, for the 3DR Solo to get you guys off the, the three-and-a-half-year-old packs. Um, it costs $55 to build your own battery for the solo. It is absolutely worth it. I have a video up showing you the entire breakdown process of how to build your own battery. Uh, the batteries are failing. They're just failing. They're breaking down into gaseous forms and they're starting to expand and people are getting five and seven minute flight times out of the batteries that you can purchase. There is no company currently today making, uh, batteries for the solo as of right now so every battery that's out there is from 2015 they are failing if you have not built your own battery for the solo yet you should definitely think about doing that so true drone reviews up in here please send me a 40 dollars typhoon he says dude i got so lucky on that find uh true drone reviews um i did definitely get uh, i believe we're picking it up today so um how much are the drones that will follow you that you don't have to fly. <laughs> well, I think a lot of drones today come with the follow me features. Uh, a lot of the decent ones anyways. You can look into like MJX Bugs products. Uh, I, you know, Phantom 3, I don't know if Phantom 3 has calculated. I think it has tracking. I don't know if it has calculated follow me mode. Um, 3DR Solo has eight different types of follow me mode. Uh, that's definitely a lot of fun. <laughs> How much are they? Uh, well, I'm not a big fan of pushing Hubson products, but most of the Hubson products that are in the $200 range, $175 to $200 range, have follow me functionality built into them as well as Circle Fly. So not that I like to push Hubson products, but uh, if you're trying to stay cheap, man, that's probably the route you want to go. Uh, just, just know that I would purchase through Hubson because if you buy it through any third party buyer, you're going to get screwed if it has problems. So hi, Dave, I want you for filming at dirt bike track. Oh, I want, I want, you want me, bro. Do you really want me? Stop it. You dirty boy. Stop it. Shit. Yeah, no, you can get one, bro. <laughs> you can get one, man. Hubson just don't make good cameras. And I agree, they don't. I cannot believe to this day they have not integrated EIS into any of their systems. If you're not going to offer gimbals for your birds, then you need to offer EIS, electronic image stabilization. Um, hopefully something as good as the Parrot. They really need to get a team working on it. So thanks, man. Just waiting to try one out. So yeah, man. Cool. Cool. I, there's a lot to be desired about purchasing hubs and products. It just seems that as the weeks go by, people continue sending me more hubs and products. I just got another hubs and product in and it's not by a sponsor. It's YouTuber sending me these fun hubs and products to play around with. So I've had one, two, three, four hubs and products sent to me now by YouTubers to play with. Wow. Thor is mad here. Thor. Are we talking about the mighty Thor? Hey, I just stopped by to show you my support and respect, bro, always. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, that was Storyteller, uh, who changed his name to Louisiana Boy. Uh, he just gets on and live streams all night and just talks to people, man. Kind of a fun, fun little channel. Uh, Mods and Hobbs, what's up, Sterling? What's going on, my brother? Just cut out again, Dan. Oh, my gosh. I don't know, man. It's got to be the Internet. It's got to be the Internet. Don't know. Sorry, Raj. I can't do anything about it, bro. Let's see here. Yeah, Sterling's a good channel, too, man. He's fun. He's fun. Oh, I, I guess I'm losing a lot of people from cutting out again. <laughs> don't care about battery percentage. Just would like to know about the... 
I'd like to know about the <laughs> it cut off there, huh? I'll wait till it comes back in. Down to nine. Hmm. About the volts. Well, that's easy. If you're running on either platform, once your battery is plugged in, uh, if you're running on Solo app or Solex app, both of them show the voltage. So, but don't always don't always calculate for the voltage, man. Because if one of those cells blows up or expands inside the battery while you're flying, bro, you're gonna go from 14 14.80 volts to 13 13 12, and guess what? You won't even have time to react. It's coming down like a rock. As soon as that voltage, that cell discharges at a different rate than the other ones, it'll expand, puncture, and that'll be the end of it. You're going to watch your solo fall out of the sky like a rock. Get off those old packs, man. I'm, I'm not kidding. They are junk. They are absolute junk now today. There are only a few select good working packs out there still, man. If you're flying on an old pack, you're just asking to lose your solo. That is the reality of it. I'm not pulling your leg. I'm not joshing you, man. Get off the old packs. I'm not flying them anymore. I, I refuse to. I will not lose my solo to an old battery that I cut, paid $30 for. So do yourself a favor, man, and don't do it to yourself. That's the reality of it. <laughs> I think my up air, well, I'll tell you what, True Drone Reviews, this is the perfect time to take your up air one battery apart and find out how easy it would be to build your own battery. I suggest this to everyone. As your batteries go bad, get off proprietary sourcing, build your own batteries. Most of the time, it is a lot cheaper. You lose a little bit of the cosmetics, but man, is it cheaper to build your own batteries. I kid you not. So, good gimbal mod, Dan. Thank you, Sterling. That was actually a group of guys that we all came together because we heard everyone just complaining about how expensive the gimbal for the solo was getting. And we figured we would try to offer them the cheapest route possible so that all the complaining would stop and people would still maintain interest in the solo. So there's actually a group of guys to thank for that. Uh, Jonathan Hare, Jonathan, uh, John Brotherton. Um, it was just, it was a team effort, man, on all our parts to get that completed. And then uh, because I have the exposure of the solo already, we decided it was just best to, to upload a, a, another version of it, complete breakdown on my channel, trying to explain it to the best of our ability. So that's what we did. So it worked out, man. So don't just thank me. There's a group of guys that need the, the thanking as well. So talking about batteries, Brian, did you receive a new e-hang about that thing? So... Anyways, if you guys just popped in, man, feel free to smash that like button. Yeah, because it definitely helps. It it helps. It's a hot one here in Florida today, man. We've had like nothing but rain all week. So if you guys are wondering why I haven't really been flying at all, it has just been rain, constant rain. We are coming into our rainy season and it kills us during rainy season, especially if you're a hobbyist. The only thing you really do is fly inside the house. So I've been I've been getting killed. Uh, with not being able to fly. I took it up yesterday before the storm came in. I have that footage. I might release it with the third-party gimbal. It definitely still needs some tuning. It's a little bouncy and jumpy, but I did take it up in like 25 and 30 mile per hour winds. So I was surprised. It, I was impressed with how well it did. And it has a $25 cheap camera on the Solo right now. So from eBay, and I have FPV. So now we can run third-party batteries, third-party cameras, third-party gimbals on the Solo. I don't want to hear any more complaining about, you know, I'm not going to buy a solo because it can't do this. It does all of the things that I've specified because it's open source. So for the people that say open source sucks, I call you a liar. Open source is amazing because you can adapt any and all technology to the solo as of right now. It is probably my favorite bird on the market just because it adapts to all new technology. So, boom. <laughs> Did you know the Bugs 3 is deviated? Yes, so you should be able to run it on the deviator transmitter. Yep, I, I heard about that, the jumper. Uh, I've been waiting for MJX to actually release the coding, but I think somebody finally cracked it and was able to add it to the jumper. But yes, I, uh, I did know they were really trying to do that. That's cool they finally completed it. So <laughs> you are the most valuable player in keeping the 3DR solo popping. I don't think I am, man. I, I think... There's 13,000 people in that Facebook group, and I think a lot of it is just misinformation and, and people not understanding these things are capable. 
you know the solo is an amazing machine it really is the, the fact that it's from 2015 and we're still adapting 2018 technology to it is it's, it, this is this is this is what the solo was created for that is no joke it is exactly what the solo was created for it was a bird where you would never have to buy another bird because it could just adapt to all technology coming out in the future so buy one <laughs> I think Philip Rose and the Open Solo team are actually pushing to have new gimbals, new batteries, new ESCs, and new motor pods made. I think he's reaching out to the original companies that designed them, and I believe he's pushing, and I think the first thing we may get is new batteries. Um, however, I think the price point is going to be around $200 a battery, so it's going to be even more expensive than Phantom batteries out the hole. Uh, I highly doubt we'll see them for $150. I think if we do pay for them, it's going to be about $170 to uh, you know, $200 a battery. But uh, shout outs to the Open Solo team, um, Philip Rose, Matt Lawrence, Paul Denardi, and Kelly Schruck. Uh, you guys have done amazing things for the Solo. You keep pushing forward. You keep showing us what its capabilities are, and you keep the Solo alive as much as the rest of us that are definitely pushing forward. So awesome, awesome of you guys. I would love to see the Solo have another five years left in it and still be able to adapt to all newer technology. So for all of you guys that, that are... Uh, Thinking about getting a solo, they are now op, uh, offering two different versions of, of uh, obstacle avoidance. Um, they have a Doppler version now that's coming out from PLPR um, company, and I believe that kit is about seventy dollars if you want to install Doppler obstacle, obstacle avoidance. And I believe uh, Philip Rose is almost completed with uh, the uh, uh, optical flow sensor on the bottom but what's neat about the new optical flow system that philip has designed is it does very 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 extensive return to homes it cuts out all the redundancies of things that you did it's called smart return to home and it actually functions i believe with the optical flow sensor as well as the gps they're going to be communicating with each other so uh, there are very cool things coming out of 3dr well not i shouldn't say 3dr out of the open solo team uh, with philip rose so yeah, man, I, I, I pay very close attention to this stuff. And I, I love watching the progression of the solo. So, mad, mad droner in the house. Jamie Hill, what's your opinion on changing bearings in the motor pods on the solo? Or is it just easier to purchase new motor pods? Honestly, man, uh, I think right now, because the motor pods are still affordable, I would just replace the motor pod. Um, if you had to, man, I suppose you could completely break it down. I have seen people, there are videos showing how to replace the bearings. It's a bit of a tedious job. I think it's just easier right now because the motor pods are still available that just order a motor pod for, you know, 30 bucks, 33 bucks. Just replace it instead of going through a two hour job of replacing the bearings. So it's up to you though. Your choice. Some things I uh, like it's cheap to change your oil, but it's $5 more to have my, my, car taken to a shop for them to change it same principle that's how i look at it time over money <clears throat> which one's worth it to me so cheapest solo i've seen right now used no 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 come on now man get refurbished brother don't don't they're like two 225 250 for refurbished solos on ebay i don't think they've shot up that much hold on a sec How's the X4 Pro H109? Uh, Sterling, it's a questionable drone. I'll, I'll go into that one of these days. I'm going to finally give my opinion on the H109 coming up. I've done a lot of mods to it. I've done a lot of different things, but I will definitely give my uh, opinion of that now that I've had it for close to six months and I've done a lot of stuff to it. We're going to do a review and I'm going to tell you how many times it's tried to fly away on me. So, <laughs> and that's running stock firmware, man. So it's uh it's just like the rest of the Hubson products. It just loves to try to fly away. They do not want to stay in the in the possession of the of the pilot. So we are solo re Oops, that's not how you do it. Okay, let's see what we got here. So, right there, man. 
I don't know if you can see that with the glare. 3DR solo for 250 bucks refurbished. As I said, man, you can still find them. They're pretty cheap, plus $15 shipping. But uh, that's just the first one I came across. So let's see. Uh, 3DR solo has one hour left. Pre-owned, zero bids, uh, drone and action camera. So no gimbal. But like I said, we came up with the third-party gimbal mod. This is 256 but I'm not. He wants fifty dollars for shipping. I would never do that. <laughs> Let's see. New uh, NOB black camera not included. Yeah, so there's there's still some pretty good deals out there, man. It's still working out. <laughs> I love some of your thumbnails. You're good with faces, yeah. I don't know. I'm an animated character. What can I say? If you just popped in, please smash that like button. It definitely helps. I know the stream has gotten a little burr. Things are slowing down a bit here. but uh, So maybe at some point the solo will have optical flow on the bottom part of the bird. Or maybe infrared. Solo already has the optical flow sensor designed for it. Philip is finishing the final touches of the optical flow sensor. Uh, however, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think it plugs into the extension bay. It's going to have to be soldered into the pins on the breakout board. So I, I think I think that's how that's going to happen. Um, dude, I mean, if you guys don't realize, you can run so many oddball cameras on the Solo. They have a FLIR camera with thermal sensing, uh, just like helicopters have, for 200 bucks, And you can install that through the Storm 32 breakout board on the Solo and actually use it for FLIR. Like this is what helicopters use in crime scenes when they're chasing somebody and they're trying to follow their little thermal dot, you know? So the solo is just, it's an incredible machine, man. There is so much you can attach to it. I think the 3DR solo is sexy. I do too, man. I still love the look <laughs> almost four years later. I still love the way it looks. It's such an incredible piece of machinery. Let's uh, uh, see. Damn, I always interested in the H109S. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I told Sean I was going to be honest when I did my review. I think it's time to put out that review. I put my initial review out saying how it was, how what I thought, and that was when I first got it, the second day I had it. And now, after I've had it for six months uh, and I've done some mods to it, I'm going to go ahead and tell you uh, what has worked and what hasn't. And remember, I'm running on stock firmware, too, so it shouldn't be doing these things. Okay, none of the mods I've done should affect any of the firmware, so it should should not be trying to fly away. Uh, it's it's unfortunate, and this is the major complaint I see on the hubs and groups is that someone will be like, "Oh, I was just flying," then all of a sudden it just went a wall and took off a hundred miles an hour to the left and slammed into my house. It's done that to me now, so <laughs> it hasn't hit my house. Luckily, I recovered it, and I'll I'll explain how I was able to recover it. I don't really panic when things start happening. I just stop and I think about what needs to be done and then I handle it. So later, Brian. Good stopping in, brother. Made for the solo. Back to work, man. See you later. Something with the GPS module. Um, No, because when it freaks out, it still says I have GPS. Uh, it's definitely firmware related. It's something to do with the firmware, maybe the compass, the gyros. I just can't see it being the GPS N for absolutely no reason. Even if it loses GPS, it should never go full tilt and just take off in a certain direction. That's not GPS. That's something else. That's interference from something. That's in and it's something that has plagued Hubson for a very long time with all of their birds. So until they get that worked out, I've told myself I will completely avoid Hubson products. People can send them to me. I'm never going to purchase another Hubson product until the, the company themselves start making some very serious changes. And uh, they just have not done that. They're running on older tech. They're not updating their systems. They're not. They continue to run through crappy firmware after firmware, releasing it for beta testing for everybody. It's just it's it's such a it's a piss poor way to run a company, man. It really is. Sam, the CEO really needs to crack down and start figuring things out because it's frustrating to watch all these people have flyaways constantly. So <sighs> did you turn the GPS off to gain control and altitude hold? Yes, I did. To stop the flyaway from happening, I went ahead and turned the GPS off and it immediately leveled out and it started to slowly just come into a drift. And then I flipped it back on and GPS stopped it and held it in place. So, yep. 
the immediate thing to do if you start having a flyaway is to flip it into altitude hold mode. So in a sense, there could be some some part of it uh, related to GPS, but I think it's interference. And uh, I think it just makes it go absolutely bonkers. And I think it's definitely interference and part of firmware. So it's it's something crazy that just just randomly happens. It's it's really strange. My 501 SS has been good thus far. Yes, yeah, some people get really lucky. Some people don't. I had a fly away with mine. I, a lot of people, man. You know, there were people that used to argue with me on the on the Hubson group that would just like you're just talking sh and you don't know what you're talking about. Stop it. Stop it. And then those people have flyaways and they come back and I'll get a random message like a year and a half later and they'll be like, hey, sorry, man, I just wanted to let you know I was being a jerk. My bird did fly away. Uh, you know, I should have listened to you. And I'm like, wow, man, that was really a, a, a big man thing to do, you know, but I'd never I never expect an apology from anyone. Do not ever apologize to me. There is no reason to. I never take anything personal. The only time I will get irritated on YouTube is when somebody decides to come after one of my friends, then you'll see the other side of DW where I get very frustrated. And 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 when you take things out on my friends that are just on here having fun and enjoying themselves, then I get pissed off. That's when you'll see the irritation come out of me. Other than that, I really don't. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not even <laughs> deterred by comments and people saying this and that. That bothers me not. Could care less. So mine just falls suddenly. Hubson. I hate to say that, but man, they're a, they're a cost-effective bird that they have not worked all the kinks out of yet, and they continue to not work all the kinks out. They love to release stuff under beta testing and just let people find out whether it's good or not. Problem is, they don't make up for the problems when they happen. That's the frustrating factor. So, once again, guys, we just popped in. Feel free to push that like button. It definitely helps my algorithm out. It makes me grow faster. So... Guinea, G, Guinea, 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 -ni. <laughs> You said touch wood. <laughs> uh, something on takeoff. The sats will drop to zero right before takeoff. There's actually a really bad boot sequence that Hubson keeps releasing as well. And that boot sequence sometimes shuts the bird down mid-flight. Um, and actually, we have that proven. There is a lot of proof that we've actually come up with. Tom Dudley, Chu Mai Wang, uh, a lot of these guys that I communicate with that are still big parts of Hubson uh, have been solving and re going through everything. And we're finding a lot of stuff that Hubson is putting in there that shouldn't be there. So, however, it's not my place anymore. I don't chase Hubson. So I just enjoy finding out how much they've been lying to people. That's all. <laughs> DW just said, make me grow faster. Yeah. <laughs> well guys i think on that note i'm out of here and uh, if anybody wants to help me track down the cheapest cgo3 plus camera they can find and drop a link in the comment section or email me that comment that would be amazing i have a typhoon h on the way it needs a camera so i'm looking for the cheapest cgo3 that you can find that is in working condition used or refurbished if you guys can help me track that down, that would be amazing. So I'm out of here. Thank you for stopping in. I'm going to go eat some lunch now because I'm starving and I didn't eat breakfast. I'm going to finish my hours for work here and uh, I'm going to start this day. So you're the best, dude. Have a great day. Drone boon. Bronies. I like that. Alice, unfortunately, I'm just getting off of here. Alicia. Oh, sorry. Alicia Hernandez. I'm just getting off of here. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Dan, I've been looking for that camera for you. Awesome. Like I said, I'm, I'm hoping to spend 200 or less on a camera. If you guys can track down a CGO 3 Plus for me and, and share that link, that would be awesome. So, nice stream, DW. Have a nice lunch. Well, thank you, Badugas. I'm out of here, guys. I will catch you on the flip. Make sure you guys are lubing up to one another, one, one another here before the stream is over, even though it's going to end in like 10 seconds. <laughs> if you haven't already, if you haven't hit the like button, please make sure you do so. And I'm out of here, guys. Toodaroo. I will catch you on the flip. Hopefully we get some flying weather soon and I'm gone. Choo. <laughs>